Good morning everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to look at five signs that God does not want you with someone. That's right. We are often given signs along the way that there is something wrong with this relationship. And this is when people will usually say things like, I knew it wasn't right. I knew, you know, that I should not have gone ahead. I should not have got married. I should not have moved in. Whatever it is, there are it's usually things are presented to us along the way that are telling us that this union, that this relationship, even a friendship, is not right for us. So let's start with number one. Sign number one is that there is confusion, lots of confusion. You may not know the status of the relationship or you may know the status of the relationship, but somehow actions just don't match. You become confused with different things that they say. You become confused with um, your own thinking, your own feelings. Am I overthinking? Am I being too sensitive? So sign number one is conf confusion. Sign number two is you start to develop frustration. Frustration in uh, not being able to get your point across. Frustration in that you are always trying to make the relationship work frustration you start to even start to swallow down your anger because frustration is more passive you just become frustrated you become frustrated with yourself for getting angry you become frustrated for, uh, with, with yourself for not being able to effectively get your point across the other person also starts to experience frustration even anger and in fact you start to feel that your relationship is not really one based on joy and love, but one more based on frustration, anger, disappointment. Sign number three, you don't know where you stand in the relationship. There doesn't appear to be commitment. You don't know where you're going. The relationship appears goalless. It really has no purpose. And although you may be committed in the sense that you know that you're together per se there doesn't seem to be that level of commitment when it comes to sorting things out the growth of the relationship sign number four there there's more of one person doing the giving and the other person seems to do more of the taking so if you're in a relationship where you always feel that you are giving, 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 or you're always trying to tell the person how you two need to, uh, you know, make the relationship work, you may do a lot of research on, you know, how to have a relationship work, date nights and everything else, but you always feel that you're the one giving. And if you do end up telling them, look, you know, we just, you don't plan anything for us anymore, then you'll find that they plan a, a date night or something, but you feel it's fake. You don't feel it's coming genuinely from them wanting to do it. It happened because you told them to do it. Sign number five, there is a round about way of talking about things you start to notice that there is circular conversation that occurs whenever you try to work things out whenever you try to have your point validated whenever you try to get things going in a certain direction you find that there is circular conversation and the other person is continually saying the same thing the same thing until eventually you just give up all right so there are five signs now it's not to say of course that people can't work things out it's not to say that you can't uh, you know take a relationship that isn't working to making it work but what it is is that two people need to work in and on the relationship it cannot just be one person and if it is just one person then that person that is the only one doing it will eventually either burn out or just not feel satisfied Okay, I hope today's help. Take lots of care and I'm going to talk to you again soon. Bye for now.